Are you tired of hearing myths and misconceptions about three-wheel motorcycles? Let's clear the confusion and find out the truth. Let's ride. In this video, we will dispel the myths and misconceptions about track motorcycles and explore the many benefits that they have to offer. Chances are you have heard or even believed some of the myths about track motorcycles. In this video, I dispel those myths and set the record straight about these incredible motorcycles. So let's get started. This morning, we're going to go to an absolutely great place. You are really going to love this one. It's really cold outside. It's 37 degrees, but I can handle it, and we're ready to roll. Trikes are less safe than two-wheel motorcycles. There is no question that three-wheel motorcycles are safer than the two-wheel counterparts. They are more stable and visible in traffic. Additionally, riding a trike is less tiring, which also improves safety. It is safe to say that a three-wheel motorcycle is much safer than a two-wheel motorcycle because of their stability. Compared to two-wheel motorcycles, tracks are much wider and heavier, which means they are more grounded and offer more stability. Therefore, they are much harder to tip over, which provides peace of mind for a lot of buyers. That's why trikes make an excellent choice for touring. They remain stable and predictable, even with luggage and a passenger. The extra weight on a two-wheel motorcycle is always an issue, since it results in a higher center of gravity and a more stressful ride. In contrast, a track motorcycle can carry a passenger and a whole lot of gear. Also, they can ride over gravel, grass clippings, as well as metal braided bridges with ease. Another less obvious factor that makes trike motorcycles safer than two-wheel motorcycles is the comfort. As long as you're comfortable, you're not getting tired, and it makes for a much safer ride. A trike offers a more convenient riding position, roomier seats, and better protection from the wind. Additionally, thanks to their stability, it takes much less physical effort to ride a trike than a regular motorcycle. This means that you can cover longer distances before you start getting tired. Since the ride is less tiring, there is less risk of becoming distracted and making mistakes. The leading cause of motorcycle accidents is that they are difficult to see in traffic. Since trikes are bigger than two-wheel motorcycles, they are easier to see in traffic by other drivers. And since trikes are so wide, it stops you from weaving in and out of traffic or splitting lanes, which increases your safety. Many trikes offer an improved riding position, which allows you to see further out in traffic. This also plays an important role in providing security, especially in urban traffic. The other main advantage of trike motorcycles is that they are easier to ride than two-wheel motorcycles. This is because operating a trike is a lot like driving an ATV. You turn the machine by turning the handlebars in the direction you want to go instead of using counter steering. So this makes trikes much easier to ride, especially for beginners. Trikes are easy to roll over. Of all the motorcycles on the road, trikes are the hardest to tip over. The three-wheel design makes it almost impossible to do so. Trikes are also heavier and more grounded than bikes, which goes a long way in keeping you upright. Any vehicle can be rolled if the right conditions exist. If a vehicle's entry speed into a curve exceeds its rollover threshold, it will tip over. Two things will commonly prevent a rollover. Keep the weight of the vehicle as low as possible and maintain the speed limit around turns. Trikes normally have a lower center of gravity, plus they have additional safety features such as traction control and ABS brakes, which help a great deal in preventing a rollover. You will want to slow down your three-wheel motorcycle before taking that turn. Then you want to maintain your speed as you're taking the turn. After you are through the corner, you can go ahead and hit the throttle and increase your speed. It will give you the boost you need to pull you out of that turn and get you back to your normal speed. When you turn, keep two things in mind. First, make the process as smooth as possible. It is easy to lose control of your trike motorcycle when the turn is too jerky or too sharp. Second, remember the width of your trike motorcycle. A trike is wide and it needs to use different angles than a two-wheel motorcycle. The single most important thing that will prevent a rollover on a trike motorcycle will always be you, the rider. Trikes are for old and disabled people. It is true, 
that riders who are experiencing mobility issues or physical limitations due to age or disabilities are switching to track motorcycles to extend their riding years. However, there is a huge market for trikes among the new and inexperienced riders who do not want to go through the long learning curve of riding a two-wheel motorcycle. Look at your local trike riding clubs. They are younger and ride for the pure joy of just riding, not the status. Everyone's motto should be, let's ride, not what do you ride? Question of the day, what have you heard that is complete bull about trikes that can be proven otherwise? Let us know in the comments down below. The trikes are slow and have no power. A fork, a spoon, and a knife are all eating utensils, but they have different functions. A similar comparison can be made about trikes and two-wheel motorcycles. You may ride your two-wheel motorcycle on long straightaways, curves, and twisties at a high rate of speed. I, on the other hand, ride my trike for long-distance touring and adventurous rides. Most likely, you're not going to see a three-wheel motorcycle weaving in and out of traffic at high rate of speeds like they're running from the law. Instead, they'll be riding for a different kind of thrill, enjoying the ride itself. With that said, if I want to go fast and tag my knee on the curb on a lean, I'll get a fast bike that can do that. But that's not what I'm all about. I just want to enjoy the long distance rides, enjoy the scenery along the way. I personally rode my bike fully loaded at a high rate of speed for a long distance out west. And it was a very smooth ride without even straining the engine. So plenty of power this beast has. Trikes will sling you off in a turn. Yes. The feeling you get when you make a turn on a trike motorcycle, it feels like the motorcycle wants to throw you off. But please, stop the online order for that trike motorcycle seatbelt. You won't need it after I tell you why. The physical forces created by the trike taking a turn at speed will move your body towards the opposite direction of the turn, causing the feeling like you are going to fall off. You can reduce this by leaning slightly forward and towards the turn with your upper body. You may also press your thighs against the gas tank to further reduce this feeling. As stated before, your entry speed is very important and don't ride beyond your skill level. Trikes are not cool. What? I didn't know we were supposed to be cool. Nobody told me. I didn't know I had to ride a specific kind of motorcycle, dress and speak a certain way to be cool. Hell, I just want to ride. Unfortunately, some bikers out there believe that trikes are for old farts. They often claim that trike riders cannot ride a two-wheel motorcycle, which is why they require training wheels. I cover that specific subject in this video and watch it after this one. There are many bikers out there that refuse to ride a trike motorcycle because of judgment issues. But in reality, trikes are much safer and offer riders much more stability. And trikes will be less likely to get you into an accident. The dislike and judgment for trike motorcycles is very common. Trikes are very beneficial, especially if you're a newer rider or an old fart rider. Real cool people will ride what the they want to ride. And don't worry about what other people think. Trikes are not motorcycles. What? <laughs> They're not. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Etymology, motor, bicycle. The first known use of the word motorcycle was in 1894. Motorized motorcycle, a motorized vehicle for one or two passengers that has two wheels. Britannica, however, defines it this way. Motorcycle, any two-wheeled or less commonly three-wheeled motor vehicle, usually propelled by an internal combustion engine. History, just as the automobile was the answer to the 19th century dream of self-propelling the horse-drawn carriage, the invention of the motorcycle created the self-propelled bicycle. The first commercial design was a three-wheeler built by Edward Butler in Great Britain in 1884. It employed a horizontal single-cylinder gasoline engine mounted between two steerable front wheels and connected by a drive chain to the rear wheel. By 1900, many manufacturers were converting bicycles or pedal cycles, as they were sometimes called, by adding small centrally mounted spark ignition engines. North Carolina General Statute defines a motorcycle as vehicles having a saddle for the use of the rider and designed to travel on not more than three wheels in contact with the ground. Now, in the motorcycle community, this is up for debate. Some say that a motorcycle is a two-wheel bike and anything with three wheels is not considered a motorcycle. And I agree to a certain extent. In my opinion, if it looks like a motorcycle, it's a motorcycle. But if it looks like a car, 
It's just a three-wheel car. I'm sure this debate will continue on forever. As promised at the start, here are the top trike motorcycles in the market today, according to hotcars.com. Motorcycles, by their very definition, conjure images of two-wheelers, but three-wheelers have their place too. And recent advances in technology and design have resulted in more and more varied types than ever. Three-wheel motorcycles are no longer confined to home-built trikes or bolted-on sidecars. Many of the leading manufacturers, Yamaha and Harley-Davidson among them, now produce their own. While the designs available, ranging from 100 horsepower leaning sport tours to learner 125 cc's, and from full-dress Harley tours to sporty spiders, means now there's a three-wheeler for everyone. So what's out there exactly? What do they offer? And which are the best? Here's HotCars.com top five three-wheel motorcycles. Starting in reverse order, number five, Yamaha Tri-City 125, the one for learners. Of the major Japanese manufacturers, it has been Yamaha, which has explored leaning three-wheelers the most. Its first offering was not the 2018 Nike, but the Tri-City 125 scooter in 2014, which is similar to the Piaggio MP3, but has larger front wheels for stability, and also a 125cc single-cylinder engine, which makes it the best for learners. It's also the most affordable, costing just over $5,000. The Tri-City 125 success has also led to a a larger version, the Tri-City 300, as introduced in 2020 and coming in just slightly above $9,000. Coming in at number four is the Piaggio MP3 300 HPE, the original revolutionary commuter. The popularity of leaning three-wheel scooters, all using innovative front suspension systems that allow parallel twin front wheels to lean like a traditional two-wheel motorcycle, yet at the same time, provide more reassuring grip. So avoiding accidents all dates back to the original Piaggio MP3 in 2007. That bike's success provide a traditional scooter commuter ability, but with the added safety and reassurance that three-wheel motorcycles bring, has led to a whole family of successors and made it today the mainstay of Piaggio's range. The latest versions are all now larger from 300 to 500 cc's with prices of just over $9,000. Coming in at number three, Can-Am Spider RT, the car slash bike hybrid. The Can-Am Spider is a unique proposition among three wheelers. Being a white shaped design with two non-leaning front wheels at the front and a single drive wheel in the rear, launched in 2008 by Canadian off-road utility specialist Can-Am Bombardier. It's been a big hit in the US. It's effectively a half convertible car, half motorcycle, and was fully updated for 2020. A 115 horsepower Rotax triple powers it with a single pedal gear shift. Now features a huge color TFT screen and the RT is the top of the line tourer starting at over $24,000. Number two, the Yamaha Nikon GT, the leaning sport tourer. With its two front wheels with leaning technology, offers maximum driving comfort with an improved feeling of stability, unsurpassed control in curves and high all weather stability. It is aimed at open-minded drivers who enjoy high-tech and innovation. Thanks to its improved equipment and high-quality finish, the 2023 Nike GT is one of the most sophisticated Yamaha sports tours and offers a range of new engines, chassis, and electronic control technologies. This unique motorcycle offers corner carving performance with remarkable long-distance suitability. Number one, the Harley-Davidson Freewheeler the traditional trike with class. The legendary American cruiser from Harley-Davidson has been at the forefront of motorcycle trikes since the 1930s when it made its first subway car. Today, it still offers its Tri-Glide Ultra for just over $36,000. However, if that is just a bit too much and you want a more basic, frills free version that you want to customize, Harley's Freewheeler is the trike for you. The Freewheeler was introduced in 2015 and it offers the raw Harley V-Twin Cruiser experience complete with the latest 114 Milwaukee 8 engine for just over $29,000. The new 2023 Road Glide 3 combines the freewheeler look with the Road Glide front end and goes for over $32,000. And there you have it, the list from hotcars.com. What do you think about this list? Comment below and let us know. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of opinions on this. If you got some value out of this video, comment down below and let us know. Also, watch this next video where you'll learn how to start riding a motorcycle after you reach a certain age.